There was a time when I was your hero. I remember that time. You know, when I first saw you at the hospital in your little candy striper outfit, you could have put me in the hospital. <laughs> Nothing was ever the same again. Well, you were pretty handsome yourself. Thank you. But I, I carried that image of you in, all day, and I, in fact, I, I carry it with me all the time. I think about you back then, and well, Alfred, I, it makes me happy. Giddy. <laughs> yeah, like you were when we were here. What do you mean? Oh, on our honeymoon, I remember you used to carry around our, our marriage certificate. It was like you couldn't believe it was real. You mean uh, this one? You kept it? Yeah. I know it's a, it's a creepy, huh? Just over the years, you know, I came across it and I would just uh, look at look at it and remember what we were like back then. You know, this mess with Lulu started, then I pulled it out again just to... I know it's, it's pathetic. Laura, I... I did move on. I, I loved other women. But I... I've never given up on us. That love each other again that you could love me again well, this is a pretty swank piece of machinery a little better than the last one it got the job done we crashed we made an unscheduled emergency land all right forget it i just want to know um, why your intuition tells you that scott took laura to los angeles because i know he's trying to get her back to a time and a place when they were happy together what the hell am I doing? What? I am joining you on the romantic rescue of your ex-wife. And I can't tell you how I appreciate your generous spirit. I'm not generous, and I don't share. And you better tell Laura now that she's woken up that I am, in fact, married to you. So we, we found a boat that Scott owned in the Caribbean, but it was vacant and moored. We also, uh found uh, his daughter's number in Paris and we called her. I can't imagine Serena was receptive. She said she would try to reach Scott, but I think she just wanted to get off the phone. Yeah, and we didn't know where to look next. We were hoping that, that you did. Laura lived with you when Scott first fell in love with her. More like obsessed with her. Honey, that's not fair. He was just a young man in love with a troubled girl. Laura would run away to dangerous places and every time she needed rescue scotty was there but scott wasn't exactly gracious when he lost her to luke right that was a very painful and complicated situation and everybody made mistakes scotty and luke and laura mom probably sent scott mixed messages and he couldn't handle it when she dropped him and bowen's been out for a vengeance ever since I don't know about ever since. I know that he really loved Laura. And he may still really love Laura. And you have to remember that there was a time when she genuinely loved him. Look, I haven't had time to process this yet. I don't know what condition Laura's in or how long her recovery is going to last. Mm. Translated to you plan on telling her nothing. Well, I don't know how fragile she is. Well, why don't you ask Lulu? She saw her, she talked to her. No, I have to do this thing quickly and quietly so Baldwin doesn't see me coming. <sighs> okay, Luke, assuming your intuition is correct, and we find Laura with Scott, what then? Well, we'll play that out when we get there. Luke, the last reunion you had with Laura ended in you having a faux remarriage with me standing on the sidelines feeling like the other woman in my own marriage sweetheart you are second to none i love you i've told you that i, I told you that in mexico 
That was good. Fueled by alcohol and the border patrol. Well, it's the truth. You are my wife. Until we land. Laura is suffering from a disease. That is now in remission. So clearly you have some thinking to do. Because once we rescue Laura from Scott, you're going to have to make a decision. It's either her or me. You know, my recovery may not last. It might just be a few days and... I'd like to see my kids. Well, you know what? We can do that. We can also get the best doctors that money can buy. You keep saying we. I'm hoping that there's a we. You know, we tried to recapture our past once before. We were here. We were in L.A. And you ran in a soundstage and we tried on costumes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a lot of fun, too. We were, you know, redoing all those, those great love scenes from the movies. Yeah, trying to add our names to the list. But it didn't work. It was the wrong time. I just, I just want you to look at me, think of me, what I was like when we first met. Was it really all so perfect then? Yeah. We were young. We were in love. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. I guess. And then Luke came along and... He overwhelmed me. He brought up feelings in me that I didn't even know I had, and I got confused. I, I betrayed you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But I can't change the past. Nobody's asking to change the past. I just want you to look into the future. Give me another chance.